Guy Lodge on hitfix.com and we are at the Sundance Film Festival talking about a very interesting new romantic drama called Two Mothers that just premiered last night at the festival. It deals in a very unconventional way with sort of female sexuality and specifically older female sexuality. When you first read the script, um, what was your gut reaction to it? Was it something you felt it comfortable strong. doing? It was very strong. Um, I, I, there were, was levels of surprise, as you say, and, and shock and judgment came in. And then, but quickly I would move to a place of forgiveness and understanding. Um, I loved these contradictions in these women and both really deep characters, female characters, which is rare in one movie. I have a feeling that the film's already causing quite a lot of you know, conversation and quite a bit of a stir. And I have a feeling if, if the genders were reversed in this story, it might not, people might not feel the same way about it. Do you That's think true. that? I think it's p more powerful in this, this connection than the, the other one. I think, I, f I feel that, uh, yeah, it feels, I don't know. it feels um, more rare. Yeah. And, um, more original, more yeah. um, specific, more um, unpredictable. Uh, I think it's because it's dangerous that, that it's attra very also attractive. Okay. But yeah. yes, yes. But of course, some people can say, oh my God, I don't want to, to be in this kind of yeah. relationship. We can refuse it. But if you are too much conservative, of course you say, that's not right, what you are doing. But it's not this question for me. What it's important is that they go until, they go in, through this story without prejudice, and they don't plan to do that. If it was planned, it, it, it kills everything. It's an impulsion, something organic that takes place. And the desire, as you know, you can't, you can't predictable. Predict, predict, not predictable. The desire it, it comes and it's a continuity of their desire of these two women. Robin Wright, of course, isn't here with us at the moment, but she she does some very impressive work in the film as well. How was it working with her? Did you know her beforehand? Yes, I did know her before, but um, we certainly got to know each other a lot better. She's a wonderful actress who I've admired for many, many years, um, and um, I felt sometimes so drawn in by what was going on with her. She, she's just so powerful, um, even when she's not saying anything or you know saying something very gently. I, I'm just pulled in. I found myself having to remind myself that I was in the scene with her because <laughs> no, um, um, she's just so interesting to watch. And, um, and it was important that that friendship worked, that relationship is, you know, we, we've known each other since we were little girls. We've been through everything, puberty, marriages, and, and um, raising children, and, and, um, and the fact that they can move through um, this big thing that takes place between the four of them is, uh, is really something, and, and says something a lot about the women, I think. And Anne, I mean, it's based on a novella by Doris Lessing, isn't that right, the South African writer? How did you find, how did that story come to you and what, what about it spoke to you? Uh, it comes to me because a French producer, Dominique Besnéard, made me, made me read the novella in French and he proposed to, be, uh, to make an adaptation in France of this English novella. And I tried to work on it in France and after, very quickly, I find that it has to be in Ang Anglo-Saxon, that something doesn't fit with France uh, and uh, I met Doris Lessing uh, two years and a half ago and I spoke with her about this story, amazing story, amazing love story, so as you have said, not normal, not conventional at all, that attracts me a lot. And uh, she says to me that it was a true story that takes place in Australia in a little community. And at this moment when she spoke about Australia, for me it's Yes, it makes sense, you know, to be in another world, a world apart, where you can be really almost like in a tale, you know. Not, not the, or the reality is uh, something you don't know exactly which time, uh, how are the journeys, because they, are, they live on the beach. This, this thing where the bodies, everything is open and, and connected to the essential of the natural. It's very important, the natural, uh, on this story, I think. 
Naomi, this is your first film you've done at home in quite some time, isn't it? Yeah, like over a decade, I would say. Was it, was it kind of, did it feel like a homecoming for you in a way? It was, <laughs> It was really nice, but firstly, um, yes, to be there and, and, and know that I had family around me and, and nostalgia and all that stuff, but also to speak in my own yes. voice, you know. But I, I, I did have to bring some sounds back because I have um, been so many years out of Australia and, you know, I'm partly English as well, so I, I, I had to, you know, concentrate it on a little bit in the beginning, but it came back very naturally. Um, and it was very liberating for me to have, you know, freedom like that and just able to improvise sometimes and um, it's it's very difficult working with dialects it's great because it helps you get closer to understanding the character and everything but it was uh, it was very freeing I enjoyed that for breaking entertainment news and more follow at hitfix on Twitter or visit hitfix.com